Hi guys, my name is Steven from Fragrance with Steve. For today's video, I want to touch on a subject that has been bothering me uh, a lot lately. And uh, I know it's a hot item. I know a lot of craziness goes around this uh, uh, fragrance in particular. And therefore, uh, I want to give you my thoughts, my intel, my little secret, so to speak. That it's basically not a secret, but stay tuned for some money-saving advice towards Greets Aventus. Okay guys, so let me show you what I got and this is um, this is all bought retail by the way 2014 Creed Aventus going a little low then I have a 2015 Creed Aventus almost halfway done and I have a, a 2016 Creed Aventus because you know you can never have enough Creed Aventus, right? I didn't really uh, consider the uh, batches when I bought these bottles. I just looked online, I saw a store that I liked, um, and I just ordered it. And that's what I want to tell you guys. For the new subscribers that are going through my channel and might not find the older video I did, like my final thoughts on Creed Aventus, because it's kind of a long way back in the line, maybe a couple of years ago already. I, I want to give you guys, new subscribers, maybe new to the fragrance game and uh, of course you're looking for a bottle of Creed Aventus yourself but you're kind of overwhelmed by all the information about the differences in batches, okay? So I want to save you guys some money and this is my honest advice, I have nothing to win here, I just want to share my thoughts as a frequent buyer of Creed Aventus. As you saw, I have three bottles. I sampled it again and again and whenever I got in the store, I tested, you know, the testers and there were also different batches on Creed Aventus. I won't make this video too long, but let's go right down to the point what I'm what I'm trying to make here is that Creed Aventus, okay, they state that this fragrance is using a lot of natural natural essences okay when you look at the bottom of the uh, box you see the ingredients right look up the ingredients and check out how many of those are actually natural essential oils okay that's like incredibly small amount of juice in the bottle that is actually so natural as they as they say you know so even given the fact that there might be small differences from the different, you know, times of harvesting natural ingredients, like the pineapple might be a little bit more ripe at a certain month and the birch might smell a little bit different on another month. Given the fact that, you know, the uh, essential oils that they ex extract from those natural ingredients changes just a little bit you know all of the other um, ingredients in the bottle all of the, the synthetics the fixatives even though they smell really natural even though the overall experience of the fragrance smells extremely natural you know given all of those synthetics added the small difference in essential oils can never make a fragrance last like six or eight hours longer on your skin than on my skin okay so unfortunately as with any fragrance out there you know some people are going to have great performance with fragrance A and other people with the same fragrance A are going to suffer from poor performance it's just the way it is you know we all have different skin I have this friend and he sells fragrances he gets like a couple of hours only with whatever batch he got you know that's very unfortunate if you're one of those people because yes Creed Aventus is a great fragrance it's forever one of my most uh, favorite fragrances in my collection and I'm really sorry to hear that you're not having a great performance but it's not the fragrance that has been reformulated I mean and that's the second point I'm trying to make here okay so Creed is trying to make money as every other brand in the game they're trying to make money why would they reformulate a fragrance 
over and over again over a couple of years. You know, it's been around since 2011 or 2010, I know. And it's been reformulated at one point due to IFRA regulations that there was certain amounts of uh, natural ingredients that were prohibited from that point on. So there's been, there's been a slight change in the formula at that point, but people are going crazy ever since on batches, even from the same year, like, oh, this batch from this month is going all the way in the fruity direction and this batch is totally smoky. These three bottles I have are not that different at all you know they smell great they're fruity they're smoky and let me tell you something else this is something that has happened with every of the three bottles that I own right when you unbox it and you spray it it's very fruity and there's you know it smells really fresh the freshness of the apple and the blackcurrant and the jasmine you know all of those fresh notes they really are pronounced and then when the fragrance starts to mature a little bit because every bottle that has been opened up and gets in contact with air starts to oxidize right it starts to age to mature and everybody will smell more smoky as the older it gets you know so my 2014 bottle when I first sprayed it I thought it was very very fruity but then after a couple of weeks it started to mature and I got a little bit more smoke and uh, that's just how it is you know but every fragrance but the thing is Creed Aventus combines two elements in the fragrance game it is very fresh and fruity and that's one aspect you know the pineapple and the apple note and the blackcurrant and you know some of the florals that's like the fresh side of this fragrance and then you have the darker side you have that birch note you have a little bit of woodiness in the in the background and that starts to come up in the dry down and those two elements combined really make this fragrance so multi-dimensional it's quite simple to wear it's very easy to wear and it's very transparent but it's it is quite a complex fragrance in its essence because it has a fresh side and a darker side and given the fact that whenever you know you open up the bowl it starts to mature you're going to get that transition because the top notes of a fragrance always you know die down just a little bit as older your bottle becomes you know the older it gets so that's the second point I'm trying to make I'm going to wrap this video up guys I'm going on mumbling all over the place I just wanted you to be open-minded like the, the house itself is not going to reformulate the fragrance every other month. That's just complete nonsense from a manufacturer's point of view. It's going to lose and cost them so much money. It's not even realistic. The amount of naturals in this fragrance is very small. You know, smaller than a lot of you might think, right? And so it's, it's never possible to, to, to differ all that much from batch to batch and it's all a personal experience as well you know if I told you oh this this 2016 a Creed Aventus man it's just fruity right and you're going to go and sample this batch I don't even know which one it is doesn't really matter what is it it's 16 E01 right oh get it 16 E01 is really fruity and there's it's very balanced like this there's, there's really enough birch to dry down but it's not overly smoky so it won't turn off people who are not into that then you are you know pre-judgmental about this particular batch don't worry about all of that you know go to the store sample it out see how it performs if it does well for you buy it you know don't go look for the holy grail don't pay up, you know, like three, four, five hundred dollars for a bottle. Save yourself the money, man. You're going to be disappointed, okay? So, guys, that's it. I hope you get some um, some intel out of this. I hope you like this video. Let me know your com your comments down below. I want to uh, see what you think about it. I know there will be a lot of controversy. I know there will be a lot of people who will not believe me but I again I don't have anything to gain from this type of video I just want to save you guys some money keep it real and stay smelling awesome guys see you in the next video bye